A good part of your formative years that a lot of people are fascinated by is your father's sex shop. Oh. And uh, you working there? You know, good friends would come yeah. there because it was a good excuse to hang out in a like a in a temple of pornography. <laughs> We want it to be a band that takes, that we control what we do and everybody else can fuck off. So, so like Jehovah's just... Witnesses couldn't stand us, the black metal people were spitting on us and the Satanists, they were like, you know, we're not true. And you know, here again, we were still just playing wicked game. I'm a confused fella, I still am, so. They are confusing lyrics for me too. Maybe that's one of the reasons people can, some people can relate to them. Is this during the period where your battle with addiction has kind of hit its peak? Oh. No, I was never, I just dabbled. I was never addicted. The biggest fight was in my head, not with the bottle or not with anything else. I heard recently that Bam Margera believes that that song is about him. <laughs> All right, good for him. How deep do you want to cut the wound, you know, to... To show... To all of a sudden then realize that, you know, you have to call an ambulance, you know? Yeah. <laughs>